Hey, this is a Q&A. I've got two things for you today. One of them is a question for you guys. Um, you may be more adept at tank recognition than me. I recently got a mystery box from a friend. And in this mystery box was this dude. And it, it does resemble a little bit of Sherman, but I am not adept at World War II tank recognition. I can just about recognize a Tiger tank. I'm not sure what this is. Someone please tell me in the comments, what, what is this? It was in a mystery box. So there is that. That was uh, one question. Tell me in the comments. The second one is a question that I got on my email. Email is in the description. So it's from Bartosz. And he writes, Hi, I recently li listened to a YouTube broadcast saying that the best starter army is the Inter-Allied Commando starter. Could you express your opinion on this and suggest the best way to assemble this starter to make it as competitive as possible? Regards, I'm guessing that he bought the set. I don't agree that this is the best uh, starter army. Um, let's let that be said. Although it is, it does have its good points. Um, so... How would I assemble that as competitively as possible? That is what I'm going to do today. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to have to take you to uh, Easy Army and Warlord Games, I think. So let's go. So uh, I'm here in Warlord Games' um, homepage. And this, I think, is the... Um, so the, the British and Inter-Allied Commandos Starter Army Bundle, that I, th I think is what he's referring to. So in that bundle, you get a bunch of, of um, British Commandos or Inter-Allied Commandos. So you can basically make them up however you want. These could uh, be SAS, they could be uh, Commandos with Berets. I mean, loads of different options here. Lots of SMGs in the pack, I can see that much. Knives for close combat. Bunch of different weapon systems. Right. So what does it say here? It says blah, blah, blah. Um, so we get access to a huge range of equipment, LMGs, two boxes of, of the commandos complete with the uh, iconic green berets and Bergen backpacks. So it is the commandos that you you get here. Although I think you could get away with, if you don't give them the berets, but give them the caps instead, calling them SAS. But I will be trying to build a commando army here. Also get a commando support group, which includes a medium mortar and a machine gun team. Don't assemble a machine gun team. You don't need it. Uh, and a soldier carrying a suppressed Delisle carabine, carbine, perfect for taking out pesky sentries. Um, so medium mortar team, medium machine gun team, some characters. I would just use these as the regular officers and what have you. Um, so NCOs, I mean, there are two metal officers as well and 60 plastic infantry. So that for 118 pounds, uh, no, sorry, 118 euro is a pretty good deal. 60 infantry for 118 euro. That's a little more than, uh, well, and then you get all this, but a little more than, than one euro a pop. So almost two euros a pop. Right. Let's see what we can build with this. So I am going to build, because I don't want to do, I don't, usually build commando um i mean you could go and, and build uh, theater platoons but since this is um this is bold action tutorials by bill mortensen i build competitive armies and for me competitive armies are almost always reinforced platoons i don't go there aren't many tournaments that don't like go down this route so i'm going to like do the basic first and then we can do, go and and build ourselves a theater platoon or something so what we're going to do is we're going to use as much of this box set as possible in a platoon so from this i think it's pretty easy to make one of them actually a sniper that doesn't require that much um 
kit bashing. So like have one guy with a rifle, maybe even a scope. That would be pretty easy. And I'm going to go regular on the sniper because you're asking me as competitive as possible. How would you build the box? Also, because we have a medium mortar and it's pretty easy to build a, um, a spotter for that mortar. So we can do that. We have plenty of bodies to build these spotters and snipers extra. We also have plenty. So let's go see here. We have plenty to do officers, right? So we have at least five officers and the rest we can build out of the plastic officers. So we are going to, oh, will we? Let's just take a sec here because we get the, um, the Scottish officer here. We could go that way. Get ourselves a, a Highland lieutenant. So you get a backpiper with this. The backpiper makes it a Highland platoon as long as the backpiper alive. Regular investor infantry sections in this platoon may reroll failed morale checks. Yeah, let's just try it just for funsies. It does mean that we uh, we need to um, buy him veterans, but oh, okay, we'll do that. Then we need our commandos. So commando sections here. Now, commandos are tough fighters as they are built. They have behind enemy lines. Uh, you can equip them with anti-tank grenades. I don't think you should. And by now, because we're making them Highland commandos, um, they are uh, they have re-rollable morale save. So that makes them very, very resistant to flamethrower attacks, which is great. So what we're going to build here are push units. And since we already have tough fighter. I don't think we necessarily need the um, the submachine guns here. So seven man units, veterans, seven man units. I am going to build a lot of these seven man units here. Commando, seven man. Here we go. Commando. And bing. I don't, I am not going to bother with any of these. They are just point sinks. And commando. I am going to go with four commando sections of seven men each with rifles and tough fighter. These are good push units. They can push up. They can fight close combat, but they're not designed to fight close combat. Now, because we have this box here and we haven't spent nearly all our uh, plastic models here. I'm going to build an, an SAS infantry section because those caps, and then we could build them and, you know, like give them different colors of uniforms or whatever. And this one I'm going to make into a close combat beast. So I'm going to build eight man unit and this, it is going to be expensive. They're going to get submachine guns, Boom. So they have who dares wins, and now they all have uh, submachine guns, so they're all tough fighter. Well, they already have that one. Well, they don't need the submachine guns then. See, see, we all learned something today. They have pistols. Right, so that is our close combat section, right? And you can already see. I'm not really using all those submachine guns. Yeah, the, the officer has a submachine gun, but other than that, I'm not really using them because these are veterans either way. And they have this, uh, they have tough fighter, all of them. It's pretty easy to build a artillery observer from this pack as well, because he can look however we want him to. Just give him a pair of binoculars or something, and then he's good to go. And then that is more or less what we can build from this pack, isn't it? Yeah. Now, 
would we want there to be oh sorry i did not mean that we do have the ability to build a medic which given all these command sections might be an interesting choice i don't think so though i think instead we're going to give an extra dude here because we need someone to take all those smgs of the plastic kits here We've already got a bagpiper. Yeah, we don't want him to have more than one extra dude. I think that's that's it. I think that's what we get. And then national characteristics. Now we could go rapid fire boost our um, our shots coming out of them. We could go Vengeance, which would remove pins, which I think is potentially the best thing to do here. I'm going to do that. And that is what I can build from that box that I think is competitive. So um, we haven't spent all the, the points yet. You can see that the box is not a thousand points. Um, not if you're building single platoon anyway. So it's nine order dice, which is a little low still, but we do have almost 250 points left over. We have a British reinforced platoon. We have the Highlander Lieutenant with a bagpiper so that you can uh, reroll the morale tests. Then we have the commandos. We have one, we have two, three and four. And these are all seven man units. Because seven men units for skirmish infantry is, is pretty good. These I would give the uh, berets and the SAS I would give a mix of headgear. Um, I would also give these a mix of uniforms because the SAS often wore a mix. Um, then the artillery observer, he gets the submachine gun as does the lieutenant here. and a medium mortar team and a sniper team so not massively helpful not massively competitive we're still stuck with a bunch of different uh, plastic soldiers that i don't think you can actually build unless you're running double platoon and still you need more than a thousand points then because i mean the the sections here are just so um, there is an alternative that we could do, which would be something like, let me show you, going back here. So the commando sections would need to be five man commando sections. And then you would have to buy something. So there we go, five man commando sections, five man. There we go, and this one. Now, for this to work, we need the uh, we need to save points. So I am going to clear out the lieutenant, and this this is me using that box to be as competitive as possible, and then suggesting what you could buy. Right. Um, so we are going to get a cheap as chips second lieutenant, inexperience, thirty five points, and I'll give him one of those SMGs, but he will be. Now we've saved quite a lot of points. So what we're going to spend those on are Bren carriers. We're going to buy ourselves silly on Bren carriers because the um, the commandos are now five man units, which is a perfect fit for a Bren carrier. So each of these Bren carriers will be a little miniature tank that can split fire, that can move up, and the enemy will be reluctant to get too close to your brain carrier because it's carrying five veterans that are tough fighter that can fight in close combat can defend that brain carrier um, and look here if it wants to go right so we spent 859 points we may spend a few points here on this build 
uh, giving submachine guns to some of the commandos because that will give them extra points once they disembark from the brain carriers. But now, instead of the foot slogging army we had before, we have a 13 order dice and we still have points left over for one or two more units. And suddenly we have a pseudo tank platoon where the brain carriers here are filled with veterans. So this is also a possibility, if, but that means going out and purchasing more units. So you can see that as a starter army, this British and inter-allied commando set doesn't really work because it's not a full army. And some of the choices, so for instance, the medium machine gun, you're never going to use. A lot of the submachine guns, you're never going to use because you're a top fire anyway. So I, I would suggest that this is potentially not the, the best um, starter army you can get, but it is a starter army. So yeah, that was the Q&A for today. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.